Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I have already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting, is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over into the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing and running the world. The world has been behind long ago. We are the future. They have other problems. Unatco? Formed by executive order after the terror strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. Necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon we'll order it. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon, that city will be a reality, and we are out its king. SF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. Never know when I might come up against some heavy armor. Give me the Gep gun. The Gep gun might be useful. They have a security bot on patrol near the statue entrance. Great. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the north dock, a Unatco informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. You're just gonna stay here? There's been some activity at sea. I'm going to watch the coast. Why'd they bring you back to New York? I don't know what they have planned. I messed up an assassination attempt on one of the triad leaders in Hong Kong. Unatco pulled you out. It's a long story. You better head to the statue. Which triad was Unatco targeting? We'll talk about that later. How was your graduation? I want to hear what happened. I wish I could have come. At the time, I could have cared less that Mom and Dad came to mind, but it was a good thing. The UN threw a dinner in honor of me, the first nano-augmented agent. I didn't know that. Guess I must be old news. Dad made a toast. I don't know if you remember his old brown suit. A toast? That doesn't sound like our father. It was hard for him in front of the diplomats, but he savored every moment. 
Strange how proud he could be when so much was due to our augmentations. Yes, he was proud. I believe that much. It was nice to have done something for him and Mom. I wish someone could have been there for you. I'm used to being on my own. One can be too self-sufficient, I'm coming to believe. What's your take on the situation, Corporal? The bots have them bottled up, sir. We'd go right in if it weren't for the whole back order. How'd they get one of our agents? Gunter went rogue on us. When the order came, he wouldn't pull back. Now you get to bail him out. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bomb. Identify yourself with the phrase, iron and copper. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy stealth course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. out. I hear you. Natalie's right. Nanoogs are born and bred killers. I do my best. Better load up. There are some crates of ammo stashed in the antenna shaft behind the helipad. Might also want to check out the combat next to it. The code's 0451. Thanks. I won't let you down. My tactic, when there's no cover like this, is to pick them off from 50 or 100 paces with a scope. What do you think? I scored an extra one from a couple of thugs we dropped down by the dock. You can have it for 700 credits. I also picked up some 10 millimeter ammo and some crossbow tranquilizer darts. Say 200 for one, and 60 for the other. Shouldn't you turn that stuff over to the quartermaster? Sure, I will. As long as command has the rest of us on parade drill, someone might as well put this hardware to use. Here's 60 for the tranquilizer darts. Time to clean house. so you don't make a mistake. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. You the 
Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 off 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said, keep your head down. Huh. Like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can have the clip for 175, the 30 off 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. No thanks. This power box must have been damaged in the raid. Don't cross through the arcs. I'm also picking up an EMP field here. If you're not careful, it'll suck away your bioelectrical energy. You're not hurt, Agent. Command should not have left us to be surrounded. Risk is part of the job. I think you lucked out this time. Agent Navarra and I were ready to go in, but for no reason, I said pull back. I do not retreat. Please give me a weapon and move out of the way. As you wish. Take my knife. That will be adequate. I will secure this level. You proceed up the stairs to the command center at the top. Did they find the shipment? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So why are we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo wants a lead on the distribution network. Yeah, we don't have enough men to protect what we've got. That's what Jojo wants. I wonder, how's a guy with a tattooed forehead get to be an NSF current? Pardon me, but back in Alabama, we wouldn't let a man who wears earrings plan a military operation. I'd watch what I say about Jojo. He's got a temper. He's a punk and he's gonna get us all killed. The NSF is strong because it represents everyone's interests. Yeah, yeah. Gunther has re-established contact. He says you helped him escape. Good work. Some news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. Easy. We want you to take this one alive and conscious. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. 
won't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. Do you have a single fact to back that up? Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two. In 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations. Weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACO will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is handpicked. Nineteen of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. You can't fight ideas with bullets. Did you ever ask what it's for? The surveillance? The police? The shoot on sight laws? Is that freedom? Your NATCO teaches teenagers to fight when it still seems like a game. And look at you. You're a killing machine. Who's the scary one, huh? Me or you? The more of us you kill, the more that secessionism lives in the hearts of the people. Ever wonder why big car companies pay 2% tax while the guys on the assembly line pay 40? Corporations are so big you don't even know who you're working for. That's terror. Terror built into the system. We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know UNATCO handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. UNATCO makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther was a goner. It's my first day, too. I'm pretty excited. I was in your class at the academy. You probably don't remember. Check in with Manderley on level two. Come on in. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level 2. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Manderley said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man.
He's waiting, JC. Reporting for duty, sir. The man himself. Splendid. Do you accept my apologies about the situation topside? A refreshing change from the Academy, sir. Don't despise training, my boy. Even you would be worthless without the shaping touch of drills and studies. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine? Give me a chopper and a pilot and I'll handle it. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Yes, indeed. But we're having your brother head up the recovery team. You'll work with Agent Anna Navarra. Why don't we meet when you've seen Jaime for a medical checkup and received your equipment from Sam Carter? You'll be briefed at that time. Yes, sir. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. My new partner, J.C. Benton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. My vision is augmented. At least, it is a maze that we know when it's not foul. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Could you tell me how to find Jaime's office? I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. He will not be the equivalent of his brother. I have seen that he knows the procedure of a good offensive. Let us hope you are right. I won't let you down, Agent. I am not going to hold your hand. You have your orders. Professional. Hey, JC. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Could you send Manderley whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC. About your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? As long as I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. Great. Have anything for me? Not yet. But remember, if you find one of these canisters, then you need a med bar for installation. I'll do that. The canisters contain a carload of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Careful.
Getting warm. Like leading a mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry, we shut it down when you go off duty. I guess I'll get used to it. I'm Alex Jacobson, communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Set operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op, and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? Sorry, sir. I can't carry anything else right now. see a stealth pistol and what else do you think you'll need can you spare a nanotech tech tool the man who uses his head i like that now move out manderley's way hey what about that guy out front selling munitions is that allowed oh captain right we've got some screwballs around here but he's not the problem it's whoever's been breaking into the armor someone at unaco's a thief yes sir I am not going to hold your hand. You have your orders. JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. But taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF, knock out that plant, and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You'll have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. If we lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, J.C. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarro, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue. Plus 250 for rescuing Agent Herman. That's 1250. We take care of our people around here. Thank you, sir. By the way, Jeff, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it does you. We'll meet up in the city. Janice give you her login? Yes, I see her that she did.
Let's head out. All right, let's go. The terrorists are in a fighting retreat. A few have barricaded themselves inside Castle Clinton. Lead the way. Our orders are to locate a barrel of ambrosia they are hiding inside. I will give you a schematic of the barrel, but first we will exterminate the NSF terrorists. Exterminate? A precious opportunity we cannot neglect. What about the rest of the ship? That is your brother's assignment. You will take the subway to meet him in Hill's Kitchen. But first, we should deal with Castle Clinton. Are we going in the front, or is there another way? A secondary entrance would be useful, but I am aware of no such thing. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? You don't look that bad. Tell me what you know about the NSF. They're gonna kill the top 1% and then split up the rich people's money with everybody. Can you tell me anything specific? Go to hell. What is it, mister? I'm really hungry. All I have is a candy bar. Don't matter. I just need something in my stomach so I can fall asleep. Here you go. Do you have a place to stay? I sleep out in the dark where they unload the speedboats. Speedboats? Is that how the NSF get their supplies? I don't know. They're always coming in and out of the tunnel behind the sort of... Interesting. I spy on them from the crates. The code is 9183. Clever boy. Thanks for the snack, mister. It's the least I could do. gentle with the NSF, but I cannot complain. You completed the objective. At least you are not a coward like Paul. I'm learning as I go. You just passed lesson one. Lesson two is how we deal with the terrorists in the subway station. I'm ready. The terrorists have wired the platform with explosives and put in hostages. Get the hostages out if you can, but make sure the NSF learned that human shields will not work against you, Natco. Nothing we can't handle with a few EMP grenades. We are thinking the same thought. I will equip you with two grenades. They will disable any electronic detonators within a radius of 20 meters. Take the train to Hell's Kitchen. 
kitchen and report to your brother. You all right? I guess so. Why were the NSF holding the station? They were pulling out. Most of them got on the train and went up north. Were they transporting any heavy supplies? Barrels? Not that I saw, but I heard them talking about a warehouse. How they needed every precious second to move some kind of shipment. Precious indeed. They just gave up a half a dozen lives for a couple of minutes. Yeah? How's it look on the street? How's what look? The fighting. Is it heavy? The cops told me to take cover in the bar or come down here. They've got the NSF surrounded in the Tom Hotel. Hostages? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah, thanks. What's the situation here? You're taking over. I've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse. What about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source. Probably an industrial-sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the free clinic and at the Underworld Tavern, down on the corner. Maybe I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets, and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, right? Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. They're shooting. Why do they keep shooting? Sometimes I hear things in my head. It's not normal. Majestic. Majestic. We're getting reports of a hostage situation in the Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. Going anywhere. Yeah? We're looking for an illegal power generator in this area. Can you help me out? I might have heard something. How much money you got? 50 credit? Sure. Appreciate the business. Yeah, I met this truck driver a while back. He had a lot of cash. I asked him where he got it, and he told me he'd just hauled some power cables to a warehouse near here. Do you remember the name of the street? It didn't seem like a big deal at the time. You might try that mech chick who runs the Underworld Bar. She grew up around here. That helps a little. Thanks. Do something, man. They're gonna kill him. Nothing. I checked his pockets. You don't live underground and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him take off his shoes. I just sleep down there. They don't give you money unless you're on the council. Take off your shoes. Charlie has no reason to be stingy if he has a currency encoder. They just hacked a few accounts. They have some extra cash. That's it. I'm not asking again. It's just a bunch of us. We go down there to get out of the cold. All right. We'll do it the hard way. Business here, Agent. Just going up to my brother's room. Uh, you better hold off. The NSF retreated in there about half an hour ago, and they've taken hostages. We're waiting on a specialist. I'm your specialist. Just tell me where the hostages are being held. No one's standing in your way, but you'll have to go in alone. Our orders are to hold the perimeter. We think the terrorists are on the second floor. Carry on, Corporal. Agent? You took out the guy that got Jones. Serves him right, huh? Thank you. 
Watch out, this guy does. Thanks for taking care of those guys. You from the police? You Natco? Yeah. Well, you might be interested. I heard them talking. They said something about how they had just put in a generator in a warehouse a few streets south of here. Did you catch the name of the street? No, but they were talking about their security setup. Anything interesting? It sounded like there was underground access. They're using the word righteous as some kind of password. That's very helpful. Thanks. You all right, Mr. Renton? Fine, I think that's all of them. You got the guys upstairs, right? Yeah. How's your daughter? Is she somewhere safe? I don't know. She's been gone all week. I try not to think about it. Tonight's a bad night to be on the streets. I'll take a look around. Hey, if you see Sandra, tell her I don't care. I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions, no speeches. Sure. There were a couple of NSF on the second floor. I took care of the situation. What about the hostages? Doing fine. You guys can relax. Guess we didn't need that specialist after all. The riot cops are running scared. Reminds me of Washington. I was there when the NSF overran Squamnome, back when they were called the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Were you at Squamnome? Yeah, it was night. They came in with their mopped camera and we never picked them up on any of the sensors. What a goddamn mess. I didn't know. Had a hard time sleeping after that. Didn't do real good on the psych evals either. Got drummed out in short order. The army probably didn't want to have any reminders hanging around. Yeah, and now look what they got. NSF in downtown Manhattan. Same guys that nearly whooped us in the Northwest. Bet the brass remembers Squalnomi now. I want satisfaction. I'm with a patient right now. Wait your turn. You should be more appreciative. By helping you, this gentleman risks his own health. But he won't give me any medicine. Trust me, when there's a cure, the city will underwrite the cost. The virus threatens everyone. I don't believe you. And I won't hesitate to prescribe the treatment for you. You better not. Thank you. The ones with the plague can be so stubborn sometimes. Don't mention it. Let me express my gratitude. You can have the automated care plan for 1200 That's at a 40% discount. Or a med kit for 180 Never mind. Suit yourself. Christ. You see the guy begging for a cure? Yeah, what about him? It won't help. There is no cure. How do you know? They show you stuff in the military. You want to know the real battlefield? It's microscopic. We can't even see it. Lucky for me, I got immunizations, but that guy? Well, once you're infected, you're infected. And what about me? I don't know. You got lucky. Not a bad thing to be. Joe Green. Midnight Sun, glad to know you. What can you tell me about what's going on out there? Sorry, regulations prevent me from talking to the press. Regulations, eh? So you are part of the crackdown. Like I said, I have nothing to say. Too stylish for the National Guard? Too athletic for NYPD? You must be from UNATCO. I really can't be bothered right now. You with the troops? I need help. What's the problem? Actually, it's my friend. Johnny took her into the alley west of here across the street. Slow down. Who's Johnny? 
I got a bad feeling about this. He was mad. He gets crazy when he's mad. Don't worry. I'll check it out. What I'm telling you, girl? You said I didn't have to. Make Janie do it. I already took the money. And when it's JoJo and it's something he wants, you gotta do it. You and me both, baby. We helpless. We were just gonna hang out today. I told you, Howard, don't play with me, this amateur, unprofessional bullshit. Johnny. If it's business, it's business. If it's us two hanging out, then we hang out. Right now, it's business. I want out, Johnny. I didn't know it would get like this. Put it this way. You in it. You want out, it's like a gang. You get beat out. What you want? You've got ten seconds to beat it before I add you to the list of NSF casualties. Easy, bro. Just having us a conversation. Five seconds. Girl's got a head full of marbles. I have to yell. Oh, she don't hear me. Three. She skitters on me. It's my ass, man. One. All right. Go on. Jesus. Thanks. Sucks to get backed into a corner. I was trying to find the back way into Smuggler's. Smuggler? Hey, you shouldn't have threatened Johnny. Soon as Jojo finds out. Your father asked me to look for you. He'd like you to come home. My dad shouldn't have hired a hitman. Stupid way to get himself killed. Who's this Jojo? You can't touch Jojo. He doesn't go out and there's only two ways to the warehouse. Warehouse? You think he can sneak into Osgood's at the park, but in the first place, it's locked. Looks like the fighting in the park has died down. And if you go underground, he's got laser trip wires, drone guns, military-type stuff, plus there are guards on the roof. Tell you what, I'll handle Jojo. You get home so your father won't have to worry. I can take care of myself. I think your friend is going to be all right. What about Johnny? I gave him a good scare. Where's he at? I don't know, but if he gives you any more trouble, just tell me. I hope he doesn't think I ratted him out. What can you tell me about his boss, Jojo? Oh, Jojo, he's nothing, man. We used to go out. His body mods? Cosmetic. Scars? <laughs> I saw him cut his face one time just so he'd look mean. Maybe I'll straighten him out as well. Well, if you ever want to get into the warehouse where he hides out, I know the code. It's 3316. Thanks. You've been very helpful. You could at least let your father know you're all right. He knows where I am. You mad at him or something? No, but I don't want him running my life like he runs that cheap hotel. He doesn't do such a bad job. He never got nowhere because he never took chances. That ain't me. I'm gonna do things my way. I think you should be more grateful for what he's done. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Earlier you said something about the smuggler. <laughs> Tough guy like you? Figured you'd be a big customer. He's got a basement place over near the subway entrance. You have to give him the password, Bloodshot, or he won't let you in. I am Brosia from a drug dealer. We're talking about your wife, the Grey Death. I don't know. If I gave it to her, and it was cut... JoJo's good for it. People know him. He'd be hanging from a streetlight if he was selling bad vaccine. Hey, Shay, kick card. Use a little vodka this time. I guess I have to do something. Yes? Just curious. I thought I heard you say Ambrosia. My wife has the plague. He already lost his daughter. Sorry to hear that. So do I trust some street punk called Jojo to get me pharmaceuticals? Trust him with my wife's life? I thought Ambrosia was an urban legend. Jojo probably just wants to sound like a player. I shouldn't get my hopes up. I don't know what to say. You just have to do what you think is right. Can I ask a question? Go right ahead. I'm looking around for a power generator, possibly hidden, large enough to power a building. You in real estate? I just need to find it. 
Oh, 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 of course. You know, I tied in power at a place a few blocks south. A warehouse. Strangest thing. They wanted to conceal these gas-driven generators on the second floor. Didn't give a hoot if their own people got asphyxiated. How do I get over there? No way through the blockades now. We went over some rooftops to get there. There was a lift. The code was 3316, I think. Thanks for the tip. I think you should do it. Something to drink. Everything in the bar, snacks too, just 10 credits. That's some heavy augmentation. Yeah, that's your natural. What's it to you? I'm in the business. Well, I was in an early program, okay? We can still polish a glass. Good luck with your business. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Hey, you look like the vigilante type. What if I said I knew where you could load up on military hardware? You mean that guy smuggler across the street? Already know him, huh? Too bad. Hey, how about I tell you about something you can't hear from anybody else? What's that? Area 51. You heard of it, right? Actually, I'd rather hear whether you know anything about a warehouse with an illicit generator. I worked out there. Most people think they got aliens from another planet, but I didn't see any flying saucers. You want to hear about it? I'll tell you. For the price of a beer. What do you have for me? You can have this beer. I appreciate it. Yep, I know for a fact it's not just for government research. I've seen all kinds of executives coming and going. I'm sure plenty of bureaucrats fly out there. Billionaires. Big executives. I think the whole place has been taken over by a private corporation. Not likely. Something's going on underground. I'm a pilot, which means I didn't get any access to the main complex. But a lot of rock comes out of there. It's some kind of mine. But what I don't understand is why they're always laying more fiber optic cables. A pilot? What do you fly? Copters. You know what I think? I think that's where the UN moved Echelon 4 back when they promised they were going to stop spying on people. Surveillance is a very distributed technology. To centralize it in one large facility would be very unusual, even for the UN. I bet they did it. They want to centralize everything. Every computer on the planet. Know anything that's worth the price of a beer? Ah, this old bird's had enough. Hell, I'm about to go on duty. What kind of chopper pilot starts work at midnight? You're with UNATCO, right? Why do you ask? I'm the one that flies your brother Paul to Hong Kong. He told me to watch out for you. I didn't know UNATCO hired pilots. The black choppers are run by the NSA to support various classified operations. The Pentagon uses them, the CIA. They hired me because I don't ask any questions. What was Paul's assignment in Hong Kong? Like I said, I know how to keep a secret. Even between brothers. So he's holding something back. The reason UNATCO transferred him back to the States. Listen to your brother, JC. Respect his experience. Let's leave it at that. Your brother's one of the bravest men I know. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Our files show that the smuggler is whacked out paranoid. Watch for booby traps. And the latest news? Your brother's team hit some resistance. So they're gonna be delayed while we bring in chopper support. What do you want? Why the booby traps? Afraid of something? Just precautions. Against what? Government's been having some kind of crackdown all year. People I know, they've been disappearing. Is that so? Think it's a big joke? Lift up a grate in the street. They got my friend, Ford Schick, in a secret lab next to the sewers. A lab? In the sewers? Maybe he was taken hostage by the NSF. These guys are pros. Definitely government funded. Interesting. Maybe I'll take a look. But I think you should have a little more regard for the United States government. If you're serious about going down there and finding Ford, I'll give you a deal on some hardware. Also, you'll need this. It's the key that can open the sewer manholes. Tell me about the hardware. I have a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 2,200 credits, a bioelectric cell for 800, and some light amplification goggles for 3,500. Too expensive. Maybe I'll try to locate your friend. Oh, oh. This area is an 
considering what the smuggler said, I would imagine this is where they're holding his friend, Ford Schick. You must be Ford Schick. Who are you? Smuggler sent me. Who's holding you here? I don't recognize the uniforms of the soldiers. I don't know. They're private security for a biotech company or something. They had me doing antibody work. Corporate security isn't usually outfitted to fight a ground war. They're doing experiments on people. They don't want anybody finding out. Wait here while I deal with security. Tell me when the coast is clear. Let's get out of here! Make a break for it. I'll protect you. Here I go. I can make it from here. Thanks. If you see Smuggler, tell him I'm all right. They had me working on immunoglobulin and coatings. The soldiers kidnap homeless people and inject them with great death. I was supposed to genetically alter those poor people so they could tolerate the virus. Every time I got the sequence wrong, more people die. The soldiers seem less interested in curing the plague than in successfully integrating it into a human host. I could eliminate the immune response by removing all sequences that code for H-type Epsilon, but that's like driving a nail with a wrecking ball. but it was the only way to narrow down the problem. I had no choice. One of the guys knew enough immunology that I couldn't fake it. I got your friend out. Ford, is he all right? Fine. You were right about those troops. Definitely not NSF. They're the CIA. They capture people and use them for medical experiments. I wouldn't go that far. You said you'd make it worth my while. Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 700 credits, a bioelectric cell for 250, or some light amplification goggles for 1125. I'll take the scope for 700. Deal. See you later. Hey, and thanks again for finding Ford. No problem. Watch for lambs. I'm picking up sonic transducer activity. I'm sending you a satellite image that should help you plan your approach. Assign me the peacekeeping occupation of this district. I took care of the generator. How's the raid going? We should have sent Agent Navarre. Your brother is timid like a child. Did something go wrong? You do not need to hear anything from me. Take the helicopter back to base. I am sure Manderley has planned a debriefing for the top agents. Last boarding call from that HQ. 
You're the guy I talked to at the Underworld Bar, right? The one asking for beer. You don't want to fly one of these birds all wound up. They have a temperament, especially in a crosswind. Let's go. Just about the only bright side of the operation, unfortunately. Report to Manderley for a briefing. Decision day. Yeah? The prisoners on level 3 are a sensitive matter. Leave the interrogations to Mr. Simons. You are authorized to receive your orders from Joseph Manderley, after which you will return to the helipad. Simons? You guys from D.C.? What agency? Please proceed to Manderley's office. We will expect to see you shortly. Gunther's full of it. Earlier tonight, in the statue, I bet you had it. Do not question the prisoners yourself. Hell of a long shift. I heard about the raid. Don't sweat it. I'm sure Paul had his reasons. I was here first. Mr. Manderley is in a meeting, JC. You'll have to wait. I was told to report for a debriefing. A debriefing. Do not worry. You passed every test. You will be a most effective weapon for the coalition. He could just fire the arrogant son of a bitch. I wasn't exaggerating. He's our best agent. We don't need him. We've got his brother. And more on the way. He knows nothing. I think he does. You should never have sent him to Hong Kong. Let's be sensible. We have to look at the whole record. Look, I understand. He was your bad project, but it's out of my hands. Now that the shipment's been lost. I know, I know. I will comply with the order. That's all I ask. Carry on. I'm going downstairs to interrogate the prisoners. I cannot wait forever. He will see you when he's ready. Agent Denton, at your service. Denton. Yes, I hear you're turning out to be quite an asset to the Coalition. Doing my best, sir. Forgive me, but I do not believe I know your name. We aren't ready for an introduction yet. No, it's not time. Just keep your nose to the pavement. You'll be well rewarded. Trust me. We're looking to you to set an example. Telling the truth. I have one question. They already asked. I don't know. One must admire a man who can keep a secret because he has value. What you know more than others makes money and gives you a measure of power. You Walton Simons, you think I can be bribed? Margaret Forsyth under NSF protection in Queens. Your son Richard attending Bronx Science. You see, I have a few relevant facts myself. Care to make a trade? You wouldn't dare. I'll give you two seconds to decide. Get out of here, Denton. This is none of your business. I can sum it all up in one word. Self-reliance. That's what we stand for. How about you tell me where that shipment is being taken? UNATCO assumes that people are incapable of protecting themselves, and therefore should submit to surveillance and intimidation by an outside force. We won't do it. Time's up. Where is the NSF taking the Ambrosia? They asked me already. I don't know. Need I remind you that in the case of a national emergency, FEMA has a list of six million Americans who will be transported to detention centers? Your tabloids call it RX-84. Yeah, including the President, Congress, and the Supreme Court. In my position, I find it very easy to add names to that list. Go to hell. The governments of the world believe an average citizen should not face the threat of terrorism alone. 
We don't need your help. The technology exists today for an individual to protect his property against explosives, firearms, surveillance, intrusion, contamination. Get the hell out of here, Denton. 350 million fortresses is not my idea of the land of the free. It's better than one big fortress constructed by a corrupt government against its people. The United States government has had emergency powers since World War II. We've never left a state of war. Speak for yourself. The federal government is just responding to a threat. A government should be about more than self-perpetuation. You will confess, by the way. I don't like to dirty my hands with that sort of thing, but you will confess. It's simple numbers. Big companies pay like 2% tax. Well, you and me, we pay like 50. It's the tax code that makes sure big bureaucracy gets bigger and people have no power. You have an assignment in New York, Agent. I expect you to follow orders. Let's get back to the subject of the missing vaccine. All taxes are social engineering. That's always been their real purpose. I'm not going to stand here and listen to you badmouth the greatest democracy the world has ever known. What happens is that politicians get money from big companies, so all the social engineering is for making big companies. Like I said, it's simple numbers. Certain intellectual properties, aside from the quantities of vaccine, concern me deeply. Has the NSF made any attempt at reverse engineering? Leave me alone. A government shouldn't have to occupy its own country with troops. If there wasn't organized oppression, there wouldn't be organized resistance, and what you call terrorism would not exist. If you wanted to save people, you could have unloaded the whole shipment in Manhattan. Why the airlift? You said it yourself. Secrets are power. You can lock me up, but you can't lock up the truth. You can lock me up, but you can't lock up the truth. We have less civilized ways of making you talk. You can lock me up, but you can't lock up the truth. If you got interrogated, you wouldn't have any answers either. We both just follow orders. I am a patient man. Ask me if I care. But not that patient. If there was an organ You saw nothing, didn't report to Manley. Hello, JC. Come in. Clerical task first. There are bonuses split between the castle pen and warehouse objectives. 500 each. With the full 1,000 plus 200 for how you handle the hostage situation in the Battery Park subway station. Good work across the board. Thank you, sir. Who is that you were meeting with? Politics, bureaucracy, mismanagement. JC, I've got some bad news. Mission failed. I would have taken out that Jojo punk, but he wasn't even in the warehouse. Never mind that. We slipped out before you even got to New York. What about the shipment? I'm just going to say it straight, JC. Your brother screwed up. He got nothing. He's taking the heat this time. The coalition is letting him go. What went wrong? Believe it. In Hell's Kitchen, he was pushing restraint, when clearly I had no alternative but to use lethal force. Whatever the case, now it's your turn. We've got one more chance to retake that ship. Has it been located? Get any equipment you need from Carter, then take the chopper back to the city. We know they plan to put the Ambrosia on a plane. We don't know which airfield. Where should I start? If I were the NSF, I'd be moving it through the subways. I'll check out the subways. I have been waiting for 20 minutes. Sorry, Anna. What is it? I would like to be reassigned to Agent Herman. All right. This Agent Denton. He completed his objective, but our tactics are incompatible. In other words, he didn't kill everything inside. He could have made a more thorough search for NSF targets, yes. End of meeting. You have a lot to teach, JC. Agent Denton, marvelous. In addition to an accuracy weapon modification, I've got a couple of multitudes. Mr. Carter, can I ask you a question? Sir? I'm getting the impression that UNACO is focused more on military operations than law enforcement. The focus is shifting. 
The only way Hannah would have been satisfied is if I'd executed every terrorist in Castle Clinton. The standing order seems to be shoot to kill. Direct intervention is always part of the game. In my day, we were just more civilized. Civilized? That's the word. I guess I was expecting a little more class from the world's anti-terrorist organization. You just have to strike a balance. Why don't I throw in an extra clip? I trust you to be able to judge one or the other is appropriate for achieving mission objectives. Looks pretty bad down here. It keeps getting worse, too. You must be raining bullets out there. The NSF aren't kidding around. How are you holding up? Fine. I lost one of the privates because a refrigeration unit went down. That's always hard. You've got a lot in your hands. Don't beat yourself up over faulty equipment. Let's go. the battle today. I admit it, yes, Lord. You at the NSF? Had myself a division, mind you, back when we were the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Years ago. They thought they had us licked. Like they think they have us licked tonight. But look at me, young sir. We're God's army. And what infernal devil can stop God's army? Well, you take care of yourself. Found me two 30-06 clips. Now all I need's a gun. And it's me and Satan. Yes, Satan. One last look into the devil's red eyes. Sounds like you served God admirably in the Northwest War. But maybe you should let a soldier from the younger generation take the clips off your hands. What do you want for him? Huh? You mean money? You want to buy him? Well, guess I'd take about 300 for each one. I'll check back with you later. I can think of safer places to camp. After all the fighting tonight. Eh, yeah, cops said I could be here. Besides, I ain't camping. I'm with the mole people. Why the name mole people? They call us that because we live underground. <laughs> like they're some kind of superior beings or something because they got more money than we do. Maybe you should join your people. Anywhere underground would be safer than Battery Park. The moles need someone topside. Besides, it's been pretty quiet. I'd rather be here than have the NSF tromping around with machine guns. The NSF are hiding out with the mole people? Yeah, they haven't hurt anybody. We guess it's all right. I need to contact the NSF. Think you can tell me how to find the moles? Sure. Just give me the password so I know they trust you. It's a matter of national security. Still need a password. Thanks again for the key. It wasn't a favor. I was well paid. A real patriot. I see it like this. It all balances out. Yet Atco is just as much gun freaks as the militias. And if everybody's gonna shoot it out, fine. So long as neither side wins and takes over the whole country. The goal of UNATCO is not conquest. It's the safety of ordinary people like yourself. I know an army when I see one. Look, I'll be blunt. You got any cash? There's a secret passage behind that phone booth over there. For 500, I'll tell you where to get the code. I'm not interested. camp with them. Trust me, they're too political. I don't need a place to camp. I started the mole people. I was there first. And then they made up committees that throw people out just because they don't like the way you look. How do I find them? Don't bother. They're elitist. 
And now the NSF is down there, too. I hear the NSF are using the Mole People hideout as a base. Are you the feds? We don't need a war down here. I work for UNATCO. Well, the NSF come through here, but they don't bother us. If we need help with anything, it's our plumbing. We lost pressure because of the explosions on South Street. Tough break. You tell me about the NSF, and I'll put in a word with the city about the water. The city don't know we got water, and they don't need to know. How about you fix it, and then I'll talk. I don't have much time. I would open the valve myself, but there was a cave-in. Utility door's blocked. It's up at the north end of the tracks, in case you want to take a look. Clearing a tunnel. That would require explosives. It could be done. A lamb would do the trick. It's just that I'm not gonna be the one to talk to the rooks. They'd probably sell us one, but they don't like people going into their turf, which is the whole upper level. The water line should be open now. Good. Glad to see you UNETCO boys do something for the community. Now, can you tell me about the NSF? The NSF? Yeah. They took over our tunnels. How do I get there? Go to the women's restroom on the other side of the station. Look for a keypad under the sink. Combinations 5482. Great. I'm glad I could help you out. I know a secret. Yeah? It's about the NSF commander know how he gets in his secret room? I give up. He does something with the brick behind those cardboard boxes. It's true. I saw it. What boxes? The south end, where the room is. Where else? Looks like you've been overrun by NSF. They move supplies through here. There's nothing we can do about it. Anything recently? A bunch of barrels came through about an hour ago. Woke us all up. Where were they headed? They went through the bathroom like they always do. Only way to get a key is from the NSF commander. Guy lives to the south. But I bet he'd die first. Some of the terrorists actually live down here? It's a secret room. You open the door by pushing a brick, they keep hidden behind some cardboard boxes. I'll have a talk with him. You won't have to worry about the NSF for much longer. Surrender. The mole people say the Ambrosia came through here an hour ago. I'll cooperate. Relax. Key to the men's restroom is on the table. This better not be a joke. Hey, I'm just an accountant. I know the body armor looks threatening, but I'm part-time, like a reservist. I don't want any trouble. This is 
the terminal at LaGuardia owned by Juan Ivanovich Lebedev. We're certain based on what you've discovered that he's working with terrorists. Your orders are to locate and kill him. We're sending you a map of the airfield. Estimated your abilities. You work for the NSF? Listen to what I've got to say. We don't have much time. You got that right. UNATCO will have a team here in a few minutes. The Great Death is a man made virus. Everyone up to the president is at UNATCO's mercy as long as UNATCO controls the supply of ambrosia. You believe that? We have proof. We need to get the ambrosia to Hong Kong. Heard of Tracer Tong? He can help us synthesize it ourselves. You better step away from the jet. Your boss is my next objective. Join us, JC. Talk to Lebedev. He can convince you. Get on the plane. We're almost ready to go. Blackmail of the U.S. government could not possibly escape the notice of the United Nations. Don't be so quick to trust the U.N. Are you kidding? The U.N.'s about the only chance we've got these days. If the U.S. spirals into another civil war... A pretext. Nothing more. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Is that so? Remember that the UN itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. Get on board. A UNACO security squad will be here any minute. The wealthy have always been the ones to profit from one world government. That's the last one. Good work. I surrender. What? Easy now, Agent. UNATCO has a policy against killing unarmed prisoners. We have much to learn from each other. We're assuming control of the airfield. The vaccine will be returned to the international authorities. Don't you want to hear why your brother came over to our side? He makes his own decisions. You know he wouldn't betray UNATCO without a reason. Time for the final exam, Agent. Finish the job. He surrendered. He's an unarmed prisoner. UNATCO policy protects him. Terminate the prisoner, Agent. If you are too afraid, you are ordered to return to base on Manderley's authority. There is a helicopter waiting. Going to full alert. Yes, Paul must have convinced you. All right. We're alone. If you have proof of a conspiracy, let's hear it. The question you've got to ask, I'm surprised you haven't, is the obvious one. Who am I? Who made me, and for what purpose? UNATCO has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. That's a pretty big claim. You didn't have parents. The ones you knew were employees. You were made by a couple of technophiles so crazed for power that they would control not only governments and people, but the chemistry of our bodies as well. Your proof? You're the proof. You and Paul, 
When you get back to Yunatko, pay attention. Something's not right. You're really working for a group of conspirators called Majestic Twelve. You expect me to believe there's a group of people powerful enough to control the United Nations? The UN and UNATCO are just a couple of their tools. UNATCO has already occupied the airfield. Just go through the motions and report back to Liberty Island. I can't do anything for you here. Be patient. Someone will contact you soon. Jesus, JC, that was Agent Navarre. She was out of line there about the execution, but... Oh my God. Manderley will have you shot. We have to erase the log files. I don't like this, but I'll protect you this time. I guess you have to stand up for what you believe. See to the helipad. We know your brother was here. He is gone, but we will find him. Manderley has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of the airport. Standard procedure, it appears. I'm sure we can count on you. I want to be the one to execute Lebedev. Yeah, well, there was shooting on the 747. I didn't see what happened. Maybe Anna beat you to it. I will investigate. She might need backup. Hey, about my brother. A shame that we have to track down and kill one of our most advanced agents. At least we have one of you left. Don't you think we should give Paul a chance to explain himself? He's been with you, Natko, for years. Only one thing can happen when you break your oath to the Coalition. Lunter told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the Coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. Coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the Coalition. UN officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? I'm ready. Let's move out. Get in. Manderley wants you to stop by his office. Don't sweat it if he chews you out. I think you made the right decision by not killing Lebedev. Manderley's blowing us up. You better go see him on the double. What kind of pain? Behind the eyes, a sharp burning, almost electrical. How's your bioelectric level? It's always at 100%. I like to stay prepared. That's probably it right there. Free radicals. You should charge your systems only when they've been significantly drained. I wasn't informed of that. It's a lot like an electric razor. If you leave it plugged in all the time, the battery loses its zero point. Just watch your levels. Interesting. Thanks, Doctor. Let me know how it goes. I saw you listening in. Yes, it's true. I have augmentations like yours. Don't you work down in Washington? Actually, I'm the director of FEMA. Sounds like you wouldn't have much use for physical augmentations. You underestimate the demands of my work. We deal with every sort of natural and unnatural disaster you can imagine. But you're the director. You work behind a desk. Am I behind a desk right now? No, I'm not. That's because we have a situation here in New York. I got to my position because I can fix things. You will see shortly, because as you have probably noticed yourself, this agency is broken and needs an overhaul. Get everybody patched up? Everybody except you. You look terrible. I took a few hits this time. Nothing I can't treat myself. Well, let me know if I can help. As usual, take what you need from the medicine. Thanks. They just dropped off a few liters of the ambrosia you recovered, by the way. Good work out there, Denton. I want you to know, we will not let your brother's activity cast its shadow on you. Yes, sir. I'm grateful for that. I just wish we'd found out sooner. No harm done. We have you to take his place. Is a few leaders going to be enough? Well, no one on staff's gonna catch Grey Dead this morning. What do you mean by overhaul? You will receive a memo in a few days. I am still collecting data. Unatco was very effective this evening. We recaptured the shipment. You don't have to worry, Agent. It's the softer elements I am after. Like who? You're beginning to exceed your clearance. What are you? Angel OA? Excuse my persistence. 
I'll wait for the memo. Good. Carry on. I can't believe it, JC. What got into Paul? I guess you got a better offer. What a blow. I don't know how we'll recover. It's almost like losing a son. I don't understand it myself, but we've got to go on. Is Manderly available? Go right in, JC. He has a lot to discuss. Take your op books. One thousand. You splitting hairs this time. I have some bad news about Agent Navarro. No shit. What the hell happened in there? Lebedev. A surprise attack. I find that hard to believe. You're digging your own grave if you cover up for your brother. Yes, sir. I'm not covering up for Paul, sir. Because he's gone, JC. I hope you'll understand this. The Coalition has shut down his augmentations and Activated the kill switch. Activated? What? Some very important officials have become nervous. Nervous about Paul, and also about you. I think I've proved myself. Can they really kill him by pressing a button? Yes, and you too. So take these orders seriously. They're sending you to Hong Kong. What about Paul? Will I get to see him again? Please, just get your equipment and meet our pilot, Jock, at the helicopter. Tracer Tong, Paul's contact in Hong Kong. Prove that they can trust you. JC? Yes. It's critical that they trust you. What the hell were you thinking, JC? Agent Navarro was out of line. I had no choice. They'll have you killed. They won't even blink an eye. Neither did I. Well, watch what you say around Manderley. Let's leave it at that. I've been in contact with Gunther, by the way. No sign of your brother at the airport. He sure caused his share of trouble. I don't know what to think anymore. I wonder what it is he found out. Why he'd defect. He thinks he has proof of a conspiracy. Wild stuff, huh? I'd like to hear what he has to say. If you hear from him, or if you find out where he is, don't worry about the info link. I'll erase the archives. You think he's right? Worth hearing him out. I've never known Paul to make a mistake. How are you holding up? Not so good. I don't know who to trust anymore. No one blames you about that. You refused to order to kill the cold weapon precisely your business and go peaceful. Manderly certainly does. Gap rocket. Like the big guns. Hang on to this one. It's the last one I've got. I'm taking you to New York. My orders are to go to Hong Kong. Your brother's in trouble. You need to meet him in Hell's Kitchen at the apartment. What's wrong? I'll let him speak for himself. He just wanted me to get you to the hotel. Jojo Fine, a punk from around here. Thinks he's gonna use the hotel as his next base. Unatco's looking for him. He worked for the NSF. Far as I can tell, Unatco doesn't give a damn about Jojo or the Rentons. Bigger fish to fry, I suppose. What do you need? Nothing, but thanks. Now what do you want? Anything for sale? Hey, about your brother. If he's in Hell's Kitchen, he's a sitting duck. So you heard that he went over to the NSF? Yanako's got this place nailed down. One thing they can't stand, an agent gone AWOL. Maybe I should prepare for the worst. What do you have for me? Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. 
I'll give you an extended clip that'll fit most handguns and rifles for 500 credits, a range weapon mod for 800, or a napalm canister that fits most flamethrowers for 750. I'll take the range mod for 800. Deal. How's life on the outside? So far, so good. I'm already back to my own research. What are you working on? My Ellen, sometimes we can't sell prosthetics because people are afraid of nerve damage. Synthetic myelin? A genetic treatment. I thought for a long time that if we could make people's nervous systems a little more resilient, we could put a good price on some of the junk smugglers collected over the years. I see. Is this kill switch real? What's it going to do to you? I'm afraid that's, uh, classified. Well, come on. I've heard talk about a police raid. Maybe they know you're here. You've got to have God clearance to... to know. The nanites can be programmed for exponential growth. There's a chopper that can take us to Hong Kong. You know, Jock? First, you're the only one that can help. I need to send the NSF to stress code. UNATCO tracked Lebedev to the other NSF bases, and a silhouette in France. Go on. UNATCO takes payoffs. Silhouette, the other terrorist groups, they're our allies. I'm prepared to believe you. I killed Agent Navara, and I'll join you against UNATCO, but I want proof. You want proof? Pay a visit to the NSF headquarters. Down in the basement, protected by booby traps, a data cube sits on the edge of a table. My report to the militia leaders. Here, I have a photograph of the building. It's a couple blocks to the west, behind the bar. And I suppose while I'm there, you want me to encrypt a signal with the NSF transmitter, bypass UNATCO SIGINT? A lot of people could die. My friend Chad, for example, the leader of Silhouette. I'll check out the facility, but I can't promise I'll help the terrorists. Be ready to leave for Hong Kong when I get back. And what is he? He's Jojo God. I don't like him staying in my hotel. Then evict him. How'd you get mixed up with someone like that in the first place? Jesus, Dad, do you expect me to do it? It's your hotel. I just don't want any trouble. Then get used to it. JoJo's the boss on the street. Nothing anybody can do about it. Mind your own business. What's the trouble? None of your business. One of the neighborhood thugs, JoJo. He thinks he owns the block. I can straighten him out. Just tell me where he is. I get some rough people in here, but this guy... I don't know, he's jumpy. He's just a punk. I'll take care of it. Can you help me out? I could really use a gun for protection. I'm not carrying anything you could use effectively. If Jojo finds out someone with the feds is here, you're dead. What am I going to do? Besides, it's against the law for civilians to carry weapons. Tell that to the gangsters. Oh, you bad. He wasn't going to stand up in Jojo anyway. Keep out of the way. What you just lying around for, girl? What? I told you, Bar Rush is money. It's business. In a minute. That's my daughter you're talking to. I already explained it, old man. Your girl, she needs me. She don't got an education, and all you got to give her is a job killing rats. This is my hotel. I want you to leave. Next thing is, I explain it to Lo Bruto. Is that what you want? I'll go already. Leave him alone. I don't care what happens to me. Stay away from my little girl. You saved my life. I was hoping I'd run into that punk. Are you nuts? You almost got yourself killed. You can relax now. No more getting bossed around. <sighs> no thanks to you. If it wasn't for JC, we'd both be dead. You want to go through your whole life with guys like Jojo? Is that it? God, I can't stand this place. I think you'll be happier without that guy around. I'm leaving. I'm getting on a bus and going west until I run out of money or get to the ocean, whichever comes first. Come on, Sandra. I just wanted to help. I thought they were shipping you off to Hong Kong. Had to pack a few things. What's going on here? Damage control. The NSF got their hands on some pretty sensitive material. Probably had something to do with my two-faced brother. Nothing we can't clean up. Mind if I take a look around? Go right ahead. You'll need to send the signal from the satellite dish on the top of the warehouse. If you're unable to hack the computers up there, you'll need the instructions and account information Lebedev sent me. 
One of our agents who tried to send the signal but got run off left the data cube in a secret area below the garage. Look for a hatch under some boxes. A computer on the third floor can unlock the hatch. That's a dumb question. No, really. What does UNATCO need with that kind of money? Just look around. Think UNATCO would be handing out assault guns if funding was left at the UN? Well, the uniforms. If it wasn't for Simons, we'd still be wearing those little white helmets. Yeah. He's what they call a philanthropist. Acts this far? Yeah, all of it. The whole directive. What I want to know is what he gets in return. Don't you know what a philanthropist is? Yeah, like Nietzsche. No, a philanthropist. Giving to charity. Oh. Well, that's why he volunteered for FEMA. To help out after hurricanes and that kind of thing. That's a lot of money to just give away. Some people are just good, you know. Good to the bone. Chad should have received the signal. Come on, Unat goes after both of us. Good. He'll be able to get his people to their base in the Paris catacombs. Did you find the records we collected on that weasel Walton Simons? I have a question about Simons. The instant I sent the signal, he ordered the troopers to hunt us down. Why does FEMA have authority over Unatco? I thought FEMA was a domestic agency for flood relief and that sort of thing. His authority doesn't come from FEMA. He's part of a secret organization, Majestic 12. We don't know much more than the name. They plan to use FEMA as part of a scheme to shut down the U.S. government. Agent J.C. Denton, please put down your weapons and step into the hallway. Unatco! Come on, out the window. We'll meet Jock in Battery Park. I can't manage the climb. You go ahead. The code to the gate they installed at the subway station is 6282. I can't just leave you here. Open up. Don't be a fool. Run! Care of yourself. Thanks for the help. Now get out of here. They're trying to kill you or something? JC, I gotta take off. United Code troops are moving into the park. I'll land again when it looks safe. There is no escape. We surrender. Another peacekeeping occupation? Not any better. They expect us to take you and Paul alive. I surrender. You are the one who killed each other. Now you will confess and pay the price.
is alive in the laboratory to the north, but has a damaged info link. You must inform him of the escape. Tracer Tom will require his data vault in order to defeat the kill switch. This is the maintenance facility for the security bots. The armory is to the south, on the opposite side of the main chamber. Mr. Denton, did you escape? Yeah. How do you know who I am? I'm a prisoner too, and I say your name every day. I have cells from your body and culture. Your brothers too. My brother? Is he nearby? They have him in the medical area. Agent Denton, believe me, I share your fury at this kill switch functionality. Do you know Paul? Only from his disuse. The gods want me to figure out why your bodies tolerate the nanites. A damn hard question, I'm sorry to say. Do me a favor, play dumb. They know enough already. I try. Oh, how I try. Maybe you can slip out when I open the main doors. I've already been shot once, thank you. But good luck. The only code I can give you is 0199. That's to the medical area. Maybe you'd like to see your brother. I would. Thank you very much. should just work. Cytoplasm isn't exactly a eutectic environment. Certain operations just fail. How are we supposed to reconfigure an entire immune system if we're constantly reinventing basic recombination technology? If a few endonuclease molecules are the worst of our troubles... I'll tell you what's worse. The raptor chickens from Hong Kong. I've never seen a more perfect example of gonzo science. I've verified the results. Absolutely no response from their immune systems. Mark my words. Before the year is out, someone will make a nice midnight snack for one of those things. Oh, Richard. If we really want to solve the problem, we should make 10,000 clones of one of the Dentons, each with a different sequence knocked out. Speaking of sequences, shouldn't you be getting back to work? Just dreaming aloud. the Russian researcher who contracted his own virus. They want to study the way I die. I hate to interfere with science, but we don't have much time to get you to trace her tongue. You go first. I'll slip out on my own. You sure? Just take care of yourself and do me a favor. Check in with Alex when you reach Inaco level three. Some of those guys are on our side. All right, but you better make it. I have some business to take care of in Manhattan. See you in Hong Kong.
going over to the rebels. You should join me. Let's get one thing straight. We've got our share of crooked bureaucrats, fact, but this is still your net. By and large, the people in this building are 24 karat gold. What good's an honest soldier if he can be ordered to behave like a terrorist? The only way to save the agency is for the good people to stay. That's how I see it. No doubt. You've still got to break out of HQ. Some say concentrated power leads to abuse, but I believe that if an institution has a solid foundation, it can survive the narrow aspirations of the people it employs. JC, you escaped? Is that what lockdown's about? I forgot to give Manderly my resignation. I heard they killed Paul. MIB, he's raided the apartment, but he's alive. He's going to slip out on his own. Mandalay's a snake. He told me they were going to leave your brother alone. What can I do to help? Stay here. I could use an ally inside UNATCO. Good idea. I can keep you informed. Do that, but be careful. You know what they do to spies. I will. By the way, the lab finally sent the augmentation canister I ordered. The one on the counter? Can your boss do the installation? Yeah, it was going to be a welcome aboard present. Guess it will have to be a retirement gift. Hello, Daedalus. I hope my escape was entertaining to watch. Daedalus? What are you talking about? You haven't been contacting me under an alias? The link went down. At first, I thought they'd executed you. Who else has access? Somebody cut the power to detention. I installed UNATCO security myself. It's unbeatable. You're starting to scare me. Not as much as you're scaring me. Who's Daedalus, and why does he want to rescue me? A better hacker than I. A trick like that? Well, it crossed my mind, I have to admit. I'm pretty disgusted with the agency right now, but I would have been caught. You wouldn't want to take that chance. No, but I can't just sit back and watch. Let me give you a key to the front door. Base is under lockdown until you're recaptured. You sound sincere. Maybe you should quit UNATCO. And do what? You can track me down in Hong Kong. I'm going to contact Tracer Tong and help the resistance. I might do that. Sure, I'll think about it. And I'm going to check into this mystery hacker. You'll be much happier at the Library of Congress. I can't control the man's mind. You aren't a commander, Manderley. We hoped you'd give you Natko an urbane diplomatic face, that's all. We screwed up our priorities. I refuse to be pushed into some obscure bureaucratic cutting. Actually, I doubt you'll get the chance. Look around. Your star pupil has come back to teach a lesson to his old instructor. JC. I never had time to take the oath of service to the Coalition. How about this one? I swear not to rest until UNATCO is free of you and the other crooked bureaucrats who perverted its mission. Big words for a rookie. The only problem is that security is well aware of your escape. Trust me, won't leave the facility alive. You can't run, Denton. Even if you escape, your kill switch is counting down. You'll be dead in 23 hours. Another 50 billion dollars down the drain. We'll see about that. Sure, hung us out to dry. Oh. Ah! oh, I cannot forgive. No, not killing a major Navarro. I will follow you, Denton. I will get you. How do you know to meet me? Daedalus he called himself Daedalus. A friend of yours? Came because I owe your brother Paul a few favors. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna take you to Hong Kong. Can you put me in contact with Tracer Tong? I know a place where we can touch down in the city, but Tong is very suspicious of foreigners. But I have to earn the trust of your brother's allies. They'll know how to find Tong. Great. Let's go. Time to see if this stealth copter is worth all of us. MJ-12 is a facility in Hong Kong, and they'll be watching for us.
Businessman, Paul earned our trust by working with us. I don't have time for games. No games. We would like another ally like Paul. The trials are at war, thanks to a woman named Maggie Chow. A sword was stolen from the Red Arrow Triad, and Miss Chow started the war by bringing us the Romanus path. Why is one sword so important? It is an extraordinary sword called the Dragon's Tooth. Nanotechnology developed by the Red Arrows for Morida before he was murdered. We know that Chao is a liar, but we have no proof. I'll go speak to her, but first I need to find a man called Tracer Tong. I need his help. Mr. Tong deals with businessmen, not beggars or strangers who might be spies. Chao lives at 1313 Tonochi Road. Be observant. Find and examine that sword. It is the evidence we need. 
I'll help you against Miss Chow, but then I'll need to see Tong or I won't be your ally for more than about 12 hours. Not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. Paul Denton, I have the blueprints. I must warn you, I... Oh. Warn me about what? I have made a mistake. Paul's my brother. What's the problem? No, I have made a mistake. No, I am sorry. What? I'm looking for someone called Tracer Tong. Heard the name? I know you. I know who you are. Yeah? You work for the Luminous Pie. You should be dead now. Mm, but you left Hong Kong just in time. You have me confused with someone else. No, it was you. Miss Chow told us. You are the American who helped them steal the soul. Really, I... You cannot stop the Red Arrow. They will control China as they control Hong Kong. Very soon. Many bargains had old China hand. Everything eight credits. Heard the name Tracer Tong? Tong, yes. Friend of a luminous path triad. And by extension, enemy of the Red Arrow. What's his reputation uh, among the locals? Sure, by fear. Very well connected. You want to buy biomechanical augmentation? Just curious. You know of a Maggie Chow? Maggie Chow, a bad character. Before she was an actress. Now she's everywhere in Hong Kong politics. They say that she's a spy. Who does she spy for? No one knows. Somebody paid her a lot of money once. And one of the rare heirs ended up floating in a canal. Dangerous to talk about. You are an unfamiliar face on Tonochi Road. I'm here on business from Gordon Quick. You are here to speak to Miss Chow, perhaps. Half a block down on the left. Thank you. The woman is a snake. Believe nothing she says. I'm looking for Maggie Chow. You must be Mr. Denton. Miss Chow has been expecting you. She is waiting in the living room. Please follow me. Mother Chow, Mr. J.C. Denton. In the flesh. As dark and serious as his brother. You know who I am. And Paul? You know my brother? Intimately. Call me Maggie. Paul never mentioned you. That is why he is still alive. He can keep a secret even from his own brother. But why... Paul told you about Majestic 12, correct? The conspiracy behind you, Natko? Just the name. Majestic 12 sent Paul to murder the former Red Arrow leader. And me too. And he double-crossed them? Rest to say, I persuaded him to join our side. What does Majestic 12 want with the Red Arrow? We are winning the Triad War against Majestic 12's ally, the Luminous Path. We were developing a new technology. You might have heard about a sword. The Dragon's Tooth, right? The Triad settled disputes in contests of skill, which includes the crafting of weapons. The Dragon's Tooth would have made us unstoppable. So Majestic 12... They're trying to tip the balance, give the Luminous Path a technological advantage. Exactly. I tried to warn the people of the danger. And the Luminous Path calls me a liar. The police have all the evidence they need to settle this, locked up in the station at the Wan Chai Market, but they will not act. Go and see. I know the code to their vault. 87342. It's only fair to tell you that I spoke with Gordon Quick before coming here. I thought he was a friend of my brother's. I agreed to visit you and learn the truth of the situation. Yes, you were seen. The new Red Arrow leader is Max Chen, and you don't have to go to the Lucky Money for him to know your activities. Now tell me about Paul. Why did he not return? Paul's on his way to Hong Kong. I don't know when he will arrive. Then you must think for yourself. In Hong Kong, the truth is seldom kept in plain sight. From up here, the city is scenery. A mountain that never changes, but everywhere the sands are shifting. We cannot know who to trust. The police, even our own families. I could look around, try to learn something about the Luminous Path. All the necessary evidence is at the police station in Wan Chai Market. If only the police would act. 
The luminous path are easy prey. All Majestic Twelve must do is wave some money under their noses. We have many prize Buddhas you will observe. I talked to Maggie Chow, but I didn't notice anything unusual. What I really need is to find a man called Tracer Tom. I need his help. The sword is there. I am certain. If you want to see him at home, you must prove that you work for us. Or do you believe Chow? Perhaps she made you a better offer. I'm sorry. Miss Chow is not at home. Yeah, well, tell her I know she double-crossed the Red Arrow, and I intend to prove it. You are mistaken, Miss Chow. She should never have sent me to the police station. Now I know she's hiding something, and I intend to find out what it is. No. No. You are mistaken. Guards! for Washington. We can't let this one slip through our fingers. Make sure the process stays on schedule. Tracer Tong. Are you crazy? Don't even say that name in here. Can I ask you something? You want to know? Despite all I've read about the triads, I wasn't prepared to see them operating in the open, on the streets, and wearing uniforms. Doesn't the Chinese government care? Chinese in Hong Kong alone. They barricade the roads to control trade and movement, but they now have business is dead. I would think the secret smuggling operations of the triad would disturb the Chinese government. Maybe the luminous part. But China knows that the red arrow of business owners, entrepreneurs, community leaders, and that they protect the city from unfair influence. You said outside influences. What does China fear? China is the last sovereign country in the world. Authoritarian and willing to lock the UN government countries and give its people the freedom to do what they want. As long as they don't break the law. Listen to me. This is real freedom. Freedom to arm property. Our governments have limited power by design. Get you? Do you believe it? Don't you know where these slogans come from? I give up. Not paid researchers. How do you say it? 
Think tanks? Founded by big businesses. What is that? A think tank? Hardly as sinister as a dictator, like China's premier. Privately funded propaganda. The Bilateral Commission in the United States, for instance. The separation of powers acknowledges the petty ambitions of individuals. That's its strength. The system organized around the weakest qualities of individuals who produce the same qualities in its leaders. Perhaps certain qualities are an inseparable part of human nature. The mark of the educated man is the suppression of these qualities in favor of better ones. The same is true of civilization. I'll get a drink later. Excuse me, sir. This room is off limits to club patrons. I suggest you leave. It's okay. I'm here to see Max Chen. He'll expect me. An American. I hope he likes what you have to say. Isaac is letting anybody back here these days. You must be Max Chen. So? I have found something in Miss Chow's apartment that might interest you. Is that so? The sword was never destroyed. It was stolen, and she is the one who stole it. Preposterous. I have it right here. But, Miss Chow? She works for a group called Majestic 12. She's using you and the Red Arrow for her own ends. No, you must be mistaken. Think about it. She murders your predecessor, hides the sword, pushes the Red Arrow into the war with the Luna's Path, and then, what next? The triads are weakened, and an outside group seizes power. Sound far-fetched? Well, there must be an explanation. Perhaps you should meet with the leaders of Luminous Path. Hmm. Perhaps. For now, I'll take them this message. I will stop hostilities until I have completed my investigation. Boss. What is it? Maria, the doors over here trouble. Soldiers coming in. She said there was some kind of max. MJ-12 troops. They must have followed me. Chow is a con artist. You have proof? Yes, I found the sword in her apartment. Good. Inform the Red Arrow Dragon Head. Then we will see who is the real traitor. I've already been to the Lucky Money. Max Chen has declared a truce between the Red Arrow and the Luminous Path. A truce? Are you certain? Majestic 12 attacked the club. I think you would consider forming an alliance. Mr. Denton, you are the man I hoped you were. Trace at home is inside, in his laboratory below the compound. The door is in our sparring room. He will know what to do next. To enter our compound, use the code 1997. has been activated. I feel fine, but it's been over 16 hours. See how easily our technologies turn on us? The more power you think you have, the more quickly it slips from your hands. Can you do something about it? That will depend. You, like your brother, are an extraordinary piece of technology. I never pass up the chance to try a new blade, but I fear at the crucial moment I may lift up my arm to strike and you will twist free of my grasp. In other words, I'll owe you a favor. Indeed, as will your friend Mr. Jacobson, a man of much useful knowledge. He arrived in Hong Kong shortly after you did. I was forced to keep him in custody until I could verify his identity and his loyalties. I assume he checked out. I believe he is sincere. Now, go down the stairs to the operating platform, and I will examine your systems.
simple switch, as they call it. Have you heard from Paul? On his way, according to Smuggler in New York. He will be fine. Meanwhile, we still face the likelihood of a triad war here in Hong Kong. Quick and Chen declared a truce just a few minutes ago. A good bit of diplomacy, I admit. But it won't hold. Not with the sword left to be fought over. I think they'll be slow to anger with Maggie Chow out of the picture. No. In their system, the sword is a doomsday weapon. A temptation. We must recover the ramen coating from Versalife and make it available to both triads. So that's all you expect in the way of a favor? A little corporate espionage? The first of many favors. Remember, I saved your life. Now pay attention. The Versalife elevator north of the market will require an employee number. Try 06288. Once inside, find Mr. Hundley, the shift supervisor. He can be persuaded to give you access to the labs. Hundley? You will find him receptive. He is the corrupt official who sold the Red Arrow the technology to begin with. I'll find the ramen coating, but I'm not your henchman. I'll help you as long as we have a mutual interest. If you choose to fight Majestic 12, you will need an ally. We will have a mutual interest for some time. In fact, I took the liberty of setting up a computer account for you. Login JC Denton. Password Sanctuary. Feel free to use the machine in my office. something, you've just got to do it. How'd you find Tom so quickly? Turns out I knew him all along. TTUndernet.0924.243.886. I posted a message to the board and contacted me himself. You talked to Jaime before you left? He told me you wanted to use him as a spy. I don't know. Pretty dangerous, isn't it? Maybe. What do you think? Jaime was scared. Simons is on a witch hunt for traitors. They probably suspect him because we're friends. Exactly. But he told me he's going to stick it out because you think it'll help. Hmm. I hope he's smart enough to know when to get out. Did you ever dig up anything about this Daedalus character? I'm still hearing from him. Actually, I did, sort of. Crypto says Daedalus was supposedly a government AI project, also known as Echelon 4. Supposedly? I'm getting this from anonymous crypto boys. Daedalus was supposed to be the old content recognition problem in surveillance. It was a program that could search all the terabytes of intercepted messages for subversive content. So, what happened? Never panned out, as far as I know. The problem was just too hard. They moved for a lot of taxpayer money, but finally had to scrap the whole project. So the thing that's talking in my head is, what, a resurrected AI? I wish I knew. Chef Supervisor, who might you be? I'm contracting this month. Quite a facility you have here. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we're pretty proud of the work we're doing. Any chance I could get a tour of the labs? Oh, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, trade secrets and all that. I'll make it worth your while. Hmm, to the tune of what? Two thousand? Sure. Excellent. The elevator code is 6512. I'll make sure the security system has granted you a day pass. Thanks. My honored guest, welcome to VersaLife. You're the one that just cleared for level one. Yeah, that's me. You are welcome to stroll around the laboratories, but respect the work that we do here. Your security pass can be canceled with no warning. 
I've looked forward to this for a long time. Security is watching through the cameras. If you cause trouble, an alarm will sound, and the guards won't wait to ask questions. Yes, sir. I'll try not to get in anyone's way. It's really a question of abstraction. Be quiet. Agent Denton from America has retrieved the software component. Please accept our gratitude. It is my honor. Begin. Offices. Let us preserve together the form of our traditions. Forever. Forever. Again, accept our thanks, Mr. Denton. You will have to join us for drinks at the Lucky Money later tonight. In the meantime, Mr. Tom wants to see you. Thanks for the offer. Maybe I'll stop by. Peace between the triads is now official. Good. We begin to operate from a position of strength. We will start manufacturing the swords and distributing them to our allies. What next? Versalife was crawling with troops. I think they were hiding more than sword technology down there. Tell me about the labs. Paul and I concluded that Versalife does the manufacturing, while the real research takes place in North America. Plenty of scientists, biotech, physics, nanotech, several research divisions. It would seem we still have a mutual interest. We know they manufacture ambrosia. If you went back and gained access to the level two labs, perhaps you would find something on the Great Death. Your brother's failure in New York has left me with nothing. You think you could find a cure? That cannot be determined until I have a schematic of the virus particle and the molecular structure of ambrosia. I'll go back, but won't they be ready for me? There's a back way at the north end of the Canal Road Tunnel, which is just east of the temple. I sent an agent in that way once. She turned up a key code to the Nanotech Research Wing, 55655, but no data. Worth a try. By the way, Versalife lost one of their R&D men in the Canal Road Tunnel collapse. A guy we think was carrying nanotech assets. He did some of the basic research that went into your implant. You might take a look, if you don't mind going for a dive. Maybe I'll check it out. in here. 
here called a universal constructor. It is one of the only two devices in the world capable of producing the nanomechanical virus called the Grey Death. I require you to destroy it. Use the code 525. Look for a computer terminal somewhere in Rebel 2 lab. If you find it, I can upload the data I need to your infolink. we expected. The array of reaction modules has allowed the UC to perform multiple constructions in parallel. Wonderful. We'll have to try that trick at Area 51. The program, you understand, is primarily a security concern. Never mind that pup from UNACO. The security here is adequate and we have a long-term program guaranteed to make him irrelevant. We call it Icarus. Icarus? A sweet bit of engineering. You should never have sent me to the police station. What did you expect? That they would arrest me? Turns out you're on your way to being one of Hong Kong's most wanted yourself. I have always been one of the most wanted. I will deal with the police in the way I deal with the slanderous press. How's that? Precisely the way I am going to deal with you. the virus right here. Tong told me. Not a cheap gizmo. Majestic 12 sure does a lot for R&D. Every ruler needs a power base. Without the people, well, you need something to use against them. I'm going to see what Tong has to say about the schematics I recovered. Hey, do me a favor. Get better. I'm working on it. Don't know a 
if I care for your sense of humor. Humor? The Illuminati stuff. I was risking my life in there. No joke, Mr. Ditton. They're quite real. Though not as powerful as they were at the beginning of the century, I know a few of the former leaders. Like Stanton Dowd? Yes. Plus Beth Duclair, Morgan Everett. Most of them in Paris, I understand. What do they have to do with Majestic 12? A question for Dowd. I will contact him in New York. Hopefully he will agree to meet you. What about a hacker named Daedalus? A valuable informant. He sent me one of the codes I needed to find that super freighter. A super freighter? That's enough virus to infect a continent. Your pilot is landing in the courtyard. Find out and see if he knows where the ship is going or how we can stop it. In any case, it is time you left Hong Kong. There is word of a UNATCO agent searching for you here. A German, they say. Augmented. Tell your people not to tangle with them. I'll deal with them myself. What a load of data you brought in. A lot to stay. Don't know how Tong expects to find a cure. It's not even a real virus. Kind of a hybrid of virus proteins and nanomechanical machine parts. A long body like a dragon fly. Sockets built into a shaft. Softer shape modules plugged in here and there. A general purpose device of some kind. Very customizable. Infection would be a ludicrously simple task for such a complicated issue. Ambrosia turns out to be one of the softer shaped modules, a hardware lock of some kind. We could replicate the Ambrosia functionality, but to actually destroy the matter of virus, I don't know. You go after that ship, and I'll help Tom. Tom filled me in. So we have to dig up Stan Dowd? Yeah, you know him? I heard a few things. We'll find out when we get to New York. Let's not waste any time. on your head. What are you doing in the city? I didn't expect the kitchen to be under martial law. People know the government has a vaccine. Riots everywhere. You still on a dole at UNATCO? I never mentioned. I've been working for the NSF all along and the Illuminati. I'm on your side. Right, the Illuminati. I need to find one of their leaders standing out. A load of plague virus is on its way to New York. Virus? You mean the Great Death? What's Dowd got to do with it? The same corporation that makes Ambrosia also manufactures the virus. Quite convenient. The virus came over in a super freighter previously owned by Dowd. Yeah, most of Majestic 12 is just hand-me-downs from the Illuminati. Huh. We knew about Ambrosia, but the virus. That's news. They're infecting people on purpose, huh? I was hoping Dowd could tell me where the freighter would unload. I'll contact him. Go to the burn-up storefront of Osgood & Sons, over where the tunnels connect to the warehouse district. You know, where the NSF had the generator. I'll try to get him to meet you there. Osgood & Sons. Yeah. And JC, be careful who you mention the Illuminati to. Like Joe Green. He's a spy for Yanatco. The reporter. Are you sure? Here's the proof. Hey, kill Green and you'll be doing all of us a favor. I saw him hanging around the free clinic. A spy? Or who? You aren't a reporter at all. You work for UNATCO. 
Guess you scoop me this time. You doubt? I agreed to see you because we have a mutual enemy. Why a vacant building? I thought the Illuminati were bankers, politicians, Council on Foreign Relations types. <laughs> we always stayed in the background, even when that was true. You all right? <laughs> Caught this damn plague myself. <laughs> anyway, we never had troops like Majestic 12 or freighters full of bioweapons, if, <laughs> if what you say is accurate. It's accurate. I just don't know where the freighter would dock. They'll want to hide it. The only facility big enough on the East Coast <coughs> is the Advanced Submarine Facility at the Brooklyn Naval Shipyards. Sounds promising. <coughs> They're probably storing the virus in the ship's diesel tanks. The only way to make sure... <coughs> it's... <coughs> the only way to make sure it's destroyed will be to scuttle the ship. Scuttle a super freighter? It can be done, if you know where to place the charges. <laughs> Smugglers should have explosives that will work. I already have some explosives. I'd pick up some more while I have the chance. But if you think you're equipped, then find your pilot and get going. You sure you're all right? <sighs> I'm hanging in there. If you come across some ambrosia on that ship, however, get you some medicine. I'll give you a blueprint of the ship. <laughs> the X's mark the five trihull wells. <coughs> Crack those up. <coughs> Reverse the bilge pumps and the ship will split open like a banana. J-12 troops converging on your position, JC. Land the cup through the roof of the tunnel. Located a supply of the virus that causes gray death. A freighter at the Brooklyn Naval Shipyard. It's the government, isn't it? Part of some experiment. Conspirators. Some in the government, some out. What do you expect me to do about a freighter? Help me scuttle it. You have any extra lambs or rockets? You think you can scuttle a freighter with a lamb? A few lambs at weld points. I'll help you out. How about a rocket for a GEP gun? Usually save those for the NSF, but I'll sell it at a loss, say 2500 you can also have a half dozen lambs for 2400 Better by now. I'm selling cheap only because a lot of people could die. I'll take the GEP ammo for 2500 You want to be about 30 yards back when one of these babies goes off. Hey, I'm starting to get nervous about this. What you're about to do is going to turn some heads. I don't want any trouble from the authorities. Actually, Unaco's planning an operation of some kind. You might want to get out of Hell's Kitchen after I leave. What kind of operation? A manhunt. For me. I don't think you want to get caught in the middle. Thanks for the warning. Come on, let's wrap this up. about your captors. They were henchmen for a secret organization called Majestic 12. A corporation? Conspirators. They want to take over the government. Smuggler and I, and a contact he has, learned a few things ourselves. Where they had me working, we had tissue cultures coded JCD. JC Denton. I must be some kind of standard, the yeast cell of the 21st century. They were our target system. Zero response to the virus. Does that mean I'm immune? More than that, I think you've got the plague right now, and I think you've had it for years. Why don't I have any symptoms? 
It's part of your cell biology, the core component of your augmentations, which reminds me, I pilfered something from the lab you could probably use, an augmentation upgrade. Hold on, I don't have enough room to carry that. I pilfered something from the lab. Let's go. I'm ready. group yeah they just turned in mind if I take a look at the ship the FEMA people don't want a lot of traffic through got something sensitive going on with the Chinese I'll stay out of the way if I was you I wouldn't even look at this ship unless I was damn sure I was needed why don't you turn in I'm late let me pass the gate stays closed actually our orders are to shoot anyone who tries to get in we won't go that far but don't expect a warm reception inside the perimeter we have begun planning your future objectives. Dow will be sending you to Paris. Make sure you go through the current residence of his associate, Morgan Everett. I do not have access to that information.
Captain Zhao. The helicopters will be there shortly. They're to be loaded for spraying of the virus. No delays. I want the helicopters operating before sunrise. I'm here to meet with Dowd. Just a minute. I'll be right out to let you in. I've dropped you at the main gate. No sign of danger. Talk to Dowd, and then I'll pick you up. Mr. Dowd awaits you in the family mausoleum. How'd you get in? The gatekeeper, how else? Strange. No one's supposed to be working this late. Did he say anything? Not really. Think I should check it out? Oh, don't mind my paranoia. Occupational hazard. I'm sure he has his business. He seemed harmless. Anyway, I scuttled the freighter and destroyed the stockpile of plague virus. <coughs> Excellent, my friend. <coughs> we have them on the run. <coughs> brought you something for that cough. Hope it works. Ambrosia. You found some. Mr. Dowd, tell me something. Someone calling himself Daedalus has been broadcasting to my info link. He wants me to go to Paris to find an associate of yours, Morgan Everett. Yes, yes, Everett. We need his help to develop a cure. Who is this Daedalus? I don't know. He seems to be an ally. But if your friend doesn't want to be found... At this stage, we might be out of options. You see, I was able to decipher the molecular signatures Tracer Tong found. And it turns out, Everett was the one who developed the eutactic component of the virus. He developed the virus for the Illuminati? Not exactly. The work was on augmentations. It was Bob Page who wanted to develop it into a weapon. Tong found Page's signature on the virus as well. Page, the billionaire. How does he relate to Majestic 12? 
Uh, he was among the original group of Illuminati who broke off to form Majestic Twelve. Not so good at the science, though. He must be directing operations. So Everett should be able to reverse engineer Page's modifications and help find a cure. Exactly. Daedalus said I should find Nicolette Duclair first. Yes. Everett is close to the Duclairs. My suggestion, too. Unfortunately, I've lost touch with the Paris crowd. How do I find Nicolette? She's a member of the French terrorist group Silhouette, last I heard. <coughs> ah, they're rumored to meet in the Paris catacombs. Great. I'll have Jock drop me off at the catacombs. I'll give you what I have on Nicolette. It's not much. <coughs> Just a few snapshots of the catacombs area. Thanks. I'm sure they will be helpful. Oh, big problem. Somebody set up an EM disruption field. My controls are all over the place. The sewer seems to be a small building just inside the cemetery gate. Take out the field generator or his power source from the JC, I'm coming in fast. LZ is hot, so get to me as soon as you can. I'm gonna be a sitting duck out here. Close. Ready to head out. Dow needs us to contact his associate in Paris. Everett, right? The leader of the Illuminati? He's not an easy man to find. Let's go. Nah, only Paris wasn't under martial law. A great city it used to be. Some new construction. Maybe they've concealed themselves from a test. 
sure they don't fool you. I'm J.C. Denton. You might know my brother Paul. I helped him send your group a warning about the crackdown. Denton? Yes, the satellite transmission saved us from La Prison de Fren, at least. Pretty much a skeleton crew you have here. How long can your people hold off MJ-12? We're not mercenaries. When the troopers moved into the crypts, half of my people retreated without firing a shot. Two of them took a wrong turn and were taken prisoner. Where? In Bunker 3, the tunnels behind the second blast door. Maybe I can help you out in exchange for a small favor. I need to find Nicolette Duclair. Nicolette? What do you want with Nicolette? I need to contact some friends of her mother's. Oh yes, Beth, a great woman. Nicolette is very secretive about her mother's friends. She tells us that they are wealthy and support our cause, but they have many enemies and need to be protected. I might be able to help you, but I, I must be certain of your loyalty. You have a right to be cautious. Just point me to Bunker 3. I have the key to the blast door, which is directly across from our hideout. And a map you might find useful. Get my people back and I will put you in touch with Nicolette. Looks like a chance to take out a team of MJ-12 troopers, but choose your head. We don't want the hostages getting caught in the crossfire. John's picking up heat signatures of what look like troops. The MJ-12 bunker must be nearby. Wonderful. Where are they? Both of them made it to the hideout safely. I made sure of it. Excellent. I cannot believe our good fortune. Now, you wanted to contact Nicolette? Yes. You might catch her at Club La Porte de l'Enfer. I tried to tell her it's not safe, but ever since her mother's assassination, she has been careless. She goes out every night as though daring the assassins to show their faces. A silhouette hangout? Among other things. But you can't get there at night. The roads are blocked. What about the tunnels? The catacombs do not go that far. You might try the sewers, though. They can be reached through the rear blast door. Is it locked? Unfortunately, MJ-12 closed it before the raid. Maybe you can find a key on one of the soldiers. I already picked up that key. Thanks again for the help. Clear the streets. Yeah! <laughs> 
find out if Nicolette is inside. Ah, the Paris nightlife. Have a taste of wine for me, JC. Thought you could run off for a weekend in Paris without me, huh? Call me nostalgic, but the nightlife seems to have lost its old charm. Yes, but I didn't trust anyone else to deliver this warning. Not even Alex or Tom. What happened at UNATCO? They intercepted a message Alex sent to my home account. Instructions on how to find him in Hong Kong. I hope the message was encrypted. I destroyed my keys. Tom is safe. But they've been tracking you with an AI probe. They've sent Ganter to assassinate you in Paris. Icarus. However, you don't have to fight Gun or any other mechanically augmented agent. I'm prepared for a fight. Unato never trusted its augmented agents. Any mech can be stopped in his tracks with a secret kill phrase. Kill something's were standard issue, I gather. Gunther sees Laputin machine. Dog that out of the medical records before he left. Laputin machine. Easy enough. Thanks for looking out for me. Staying at the agency and all. Don't mention. Laput de l'Enfer. Resistant members aren't the only ones fond of the discreet staff in clinical shadows. Watch your back. I'm looking for Nicolette Duclair. So? Do you know her? I know her name. I know that her mother called her Angel. You know her mother? It's a friend of her mother's I need to find. Angel. That would make her a fallen angel now, wouldn't it? You must be after Everett. Yeah, Morgan Everett. How did you guess? What makes you think Nicolette would betray one of her mother's closest friends? I helped her friends from Silhouette. Chad will vouch for me. I'm after the people who murdered her mother. You are an assassin or something? When necessary. Go out behind the club. I will talk to Nicolette and perhaps she will meet you there. Cloud? Oh, sorry. My mistake. She decided not to show? I am Nicolette. I will help you simply to make trouble for Majestic 12. It's true, they killed my mother. Do you know why? She was an Illuminatus. The only people MJ-12 has ever feared are the Illuminati. Stan Dowd said they had fallen from power. How do you know Dowd? I met him in New York. A trusted friend of my mother's. Yes, the Illuminati are wiped out, but Paige still fears Morgan Everett. Where do we find him? One of my mother's many secrets. We'll have to look for clues at my family's chateau. How does Everett threaten Bob Page? Page was an Illuminatus. For him, intellect is the foundation of power, and that would make Everett his most dangerous rival. But Everett's the one in hiding. Both the Illuminati and MJ-12 believe that the most intelligent or enlightened human being will inevitably gain power, ultimately seizing the eye in the pyramid and creating the world for everyone else. Kind of secularized version of natural law. Page has a trained army to protect him. He is still vulnerable. Much of his power comes from secret laboratories, meaning the right person could reverse engineer his whole power base. Let's hope you're right. That Everett is everything you say he is. Let's go. You trust the guy in the helicopter? That's Jock. Don't worry, he hasn't let me down yet. Come on. Let's hit it. I had not wanted to see this place again. Why not? I was afraid it would be like this. The same. Not a stone out of place. You would rather that Majestic 12 had burned it down? I would rather... No, let's go. Only in novels do places crumble to dust for no reason when their spirit is lost. Your mother? Lead the way. I no longer have a key. We must find my mother's secret computer room, where she did all her work. A place she kept hidden, even from me. Mom hated this maze. I'm pulling up 
the floor plan. An old summer home built during the Third Republic. It's been vacant since Miss Duclair's assassination. Hopefully these elegant rooms contain some clues about the Duclair family's involvement with the Illuminati. What are you looking for? I don't know if this will help, but I used to use that computer whenever I was at home. The last time was just before my mother was killed. The login is Nicolette. The password is Chad. What is it? A transmission from Morgan Everett. He wants me to go out the back way through the crypt to a nearby cathedral. The Cathedral of the Knights Templar? He didn't say. I'm supposed to access the Majestic 12 computer network. Yes, Majestic 12 controls the place now. They killed the knights for their gold reserves. Everett must want you to sneak to that part of town through the sewers that connect to our property. I thought the Templars vanished centuries ago. They invented the modern banking system and were its directors, under one name or another, until Majestic 12 took over. He said you had a key. Yes, here it is. The crypt is in the maze behind the chateau. Listen to Everett. He is right to want to avenge the Templars. I knew a 
satellite link is both infrared and the X-ray spectrum. I see your heart beating. I see you are afraid. Someone's dead. I can hear you. Ah, a good library. Worth its weight in gold. Only once we worked together. Now the game has changed. You came all the way to Paris to tell me that? It is a simple message I am demonstrating. We know where you are going and what you intend. And I know something about you. You know you will be defeated. I know your Unatco kill phrase. The Putin machine. I am not a machine. Sticks and stones. certainly teach you how to fight, didn't we? You're worried, Simons. We almost have a cure. You have nothing. Even if Everett succeeds, you can't synthesize enough vaccine to stop an epidemic. You need a universal constructor, and don't think Page Industries is going to leave one lying around for you to use. Not after you blew up the one in Hong Kong. I was never properly trained in its operation. Laugh it up, Denton. Next time we won't use an old box of bolts like Gunter. The only reason I let him go to Paris is that I was sick of his moaning about Navarra and constant requests for a tune-up. You sent him because you knew he would fight to the death. He was the last of the mechs. Next time you will face someone of your own abilities. J.C. Denton, I will take you to Everett, but you will be forbidden to learn the way yourself. That will be quite a trick. You will not be armed in any way. Do what you must. Step a little closer. See, si, no inconvenience whatsoever. Everett must be paranoid. We all are. The Illuminati is getting a taste of its own medicine. Has he made any progress on the Great Death Virus? Your uplink provided the missing encryption key. He has been able to complete the work that Tracer Tong began. 
I must see him at once. He is downstairs in the lab. It would be rather serendipitous if Bob Page invented something Everett could not figure out. We have never failed to decipher Majestic 12's plans. Stopping them, however, has been another matter. Good news, huh? Looks like we might pull this thing off. Alex, what are you doing here? Tong sent me. He wanted me to help with the decryption. Looks like Everett has it all figured out. Listen quickly. Tong doesn't trust the Illuminati. He sent me here to keep an eye on Everett. I see. How about the triads? Is the truth going to hold? Last I heard. But I guess we have other things to worry about now, huh? I'll keep you in touch through your info link. I'll try my best to keep you informed. Yes, do exactly that. Keep me informed. What are you doing back here? Denton, right? Yeah. You're al alive in that thing? I am conscious. Tell Everett I am cold. Keeps me so cold. Who are you? Do you mind if I ask? The Supreme Enlightened. The leader of the Illuminati. I thought Everett was a leader. I am the leader. I brought the Illuminati up through the 20th century to the height of their power. I had presidents and premiers eating out of my hand. I am the one. Decline is the result of my own. All we need is for me to get back on my feet. What, what did Everett tell you? Nothing. I'm merely awaiting certain technologies. Then I will be restored. Everett has sworn it. So this is where the Illuminati ended up after centuries of conspiring to rule the world. The conspiracy is about to begin again, JC, between you and me. Nicolette was wise to bring us together. Wise like her mother. The most effective partnerships, like Beth's and mine, arise from mutual necessity. I came to talk about the Grey Death. Atanwe says you cracked the virus. A trivial matter. Page added nothing to the core design. However, what we need to construct is a carbonocarbon rum module, not exactly a vaccine. Can it be done without a universal constructor? No, we need time on a UC. But I know where we might find one, and also gain access to the U.S. military networks. U.S. military? To stop Icarus from completely destroying the Daedalus AI. Daedalus is a design of mine. It replaced the old Echelon 3 network. Echelon? The surveillance system for the United Nations. So Daedalus was an MJ-12 tool and rebelled? More of a pattern matching era. It classified Majestic 12 as a terrorist group, alongside the NSF and Silhouette. And alongside the Illuminati, right? Are you sure Daedalus is your ally? What matters to us is that it opposes Majestic 12. We must help it destroy their intelligence apparatus. But that will require the military networks. I have already contacted Gary Savage of X-51. The former Area 51 scientists. Are they still camped out at the Vandenberg Air Force Base? They are close to completing the UC and have the kind of connection Davis will need. Sounds like my pilot and I should head to Vandenberg. Yes, I took the liberty of radioing him. Here is the key to the helipad stairway. The door is in the foyer where Atanwe revived you. Good luck. I will be in contact. By the way, Lucius De Beer says he's cold. I know. 18 degrees Celsius, to be exact. Don't you think that's a little chilly? I keep his metabolism low so he will last. He was a good advisor, a one-man think tank, so to speak. He said he's the leader of the Illuminati. A harmless fantasy. He also thinks I'm going to restore his body. You aren't? The technology has been around for decades, but he does not need to know that. Where is he? I will remember these small injustices when I am revived. I will remember... Everett has no intention of reviving you. He must. He has been commanded. He keeps...
keeps you on ice so that he can benefit from your experience. But he intends to rule the Order himself. No. No. I will not allow it. If I only had command of my body. Now even ever betrays the Illuminati. Can no one be trusted? Problem? Just looking around. I, I checked her out. She's fueled up and ready to go. Is something wrong? Huh? No, I said I checked her out. You want the thing to run, right? If you're gonna cross the ocean. Of course. Better safe than sorry. I fixed her right up for you. Don't forget to say hi to your friend from UNETCO, Mr. Uh, Jacobson. Already bumped into him. Very thoughtful of Tom. My own computer technician. I suppose he can help me prepare a calm link for Daedalus. Hey, about your mechanic at the helipad. Something about him seemed a little off. Yes, Pierre. I haven't been able to reach you. What's wrong? Pierre. He sounded American to me. Pierre has never been to America. Who's up there? He's not one of my people. I don't know, but he shouldn't be working on the chopper. You better get back to the helipad on the double. That man must be eliminated. One spy could wreck everything we're working for. I won't let him get away. I talked to Savage. Sounds like Vandenberg may be in some trouble. Get at me. You better double check your systems. That mechanic was an imposter. Yeah? Everett doesn't know him. What did he work on? The fuel system. That you mention it. Wait a minute. This isn't right. What is it? Oh my god, JC, a bomb. A bomb? It's remote control. Hold on. Get out of there. Just have to pull this wire. There. Relax. I disabled the detonator. We can drop the thing in the Atlantic on the way back to the States. Make a good detective, JC. Ready to get out of here? Let's go. The snipers heard your helicopter and took off. You guys saved my life. I'm glad you're all right. Why is Majestic 12 attacking? You with the NSF? We have a common enemy, if that's what you mean. MJ-12 is short and you see. They lost the one in Hong Kong, and now something has happened at the Pasadena Ocean Lab. Are the Vandenberg Labs safe? The base is locked down until we can destroy the enemy bots. Unfortunately, MJ-12 disabled our own bot defense system, and no one has been able to activate the backup power. I could give it a shot. Where are the controls? There are two separate units at the west end of the base. It won't be easy. MJ-12 has hacked the security grid and taken control of nearly all of our defenses. Turrets, cameras, alarms, and they have snipers everywhere. Easier than a straight fight with military bots. I suppose you're right. I can give you a map. One of the units is in the main complex. The other one is in an exposed location. The activation code is 5868. Switch. Now find the other. You all right? 
Where the hell are the bots? They're supposed to exterminate these... 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 MJ-12 cut the power to the defense system. But don't worry, the situation's under control. Except for the control room, this building has been totally overrun. Maybe I can do something about that. Be careful of our defense systems. MJ-12 reprogrammed them and locked our accounts. There's a back door, but I haven't been able to try it out. Log in command, password Zebra42. Thanks for the warning. The bot security system has come online. All bots will have power, but you have to open the bay doors manually. Saved our asses. I need to talk to Gary Savage. How does it look out there? We got those bots brand new from a guy in Hong Kong, but I guess we should have locked down the power grid, huh? I took care of the enemy bots, but there might be a few snipers left. Be careful. We think Dr. Savage and the others are in the control room in the second floor of the command building, but communications are down. The person we sent to find them hasn't reported back. We gave him our key to the control room. I'll check it out if you want. How do I get there? The trap door in the back room goes down to the utility tunnels, which connect to the command building. We had to send someone that way because of the shooting. Maybe he didn't make it through the radiation. I don't know. He had no protection. The only hazard suits are in the command building itself. JC, I'm depending on you. When you find Savage, get him to help you uplink Daedalus. The Milnet computer should be near the control room on the second floor of the command building. <laughs> dog out. You were dismissed? All of us career types. They want cadets who've never been anywhere except UNATCO and the UNATCO Academy. Easier to manage, I suppose. Time to come out here and lend a hand. I knew what Savage was up against. I just didn't want to admit it. It's an honor to have you with us, sir. All right, enough bawling our eyes out. We've got work to do. I'm Dr. Savage. Thank you. We were close to surrendering when you landed. J.C. Denton. I'm working with Morgan Everett of the Illuminati. He's developed a cure for the Great Death, and we were hoping to get time on your UC to manufacture it. Everett contacted me just before the attack. Naturally, we'll manufacture the cure once the computers back up and we get a containment unit for the UC. How close are you to being operational? My daughter's on an expedition to the Ocean Lab right now to find a schematic for the containment vessel. But Lord knows when the computer will be back up. It was damaged during the attack. I'll look at it. In addition to the UC, Everett and I need your connection to the Milnet. Yes, he said something about an artificial intelligence, the Echelon system, something called Icarus and Daedalus. Another attack happening as we speak. I'll explain later. Well, the main terminal is in the room at the top of the stairs. Log in G Savage, password Tiffany. I'll open the doors. I would say it's too dangerous. A lot of damaged equipment and hot power lines up there. But until the computers are up, the UC's just a box of bolts.
Just bring up the system for Savage. I'll route Daedalus through your info link. Don't worry, there's very little risk. God! Excellent. We're all here. You aren't in a position to make any demands, Paige. On the contrary, my mission might have failed, but so did yours. I captured your daughter an hour ago. Tiffany. She's been quite forthcoming. So you were hoping to find a containment unit in the Ocean Lab? I demand to see my daughter immediately. Well, like you, we lack certain components of a universal constructor. The reaction modules you stole when you left Area 51 to go into business for yourself. Don't negotiate. Oh yes, Mr. Denton. I wanted you here for a reason. Look at me. You interfere in any way, I will kill that young woman. I mean it. I want those components, Savage. You will bring them to the abandoned gas station west of Vandenberg in exactly one hour. You hurt my daughter, and I swear to God. Bring me the reaction modules. I don't think we have a choice. Oh, I should have never let her go. Paige will resume production of the plague if he gets the components to build a UC. I know, I know. But I can't let them kill Tiffany. Tell them you're sending someone with the components. I'll have my pilot drop me off where they're holding your daughter. Maybe I can rescue her. That's too risky. We don't have a choice. Trust me, she'll be fine. Yes. Yes, we've got to try it. Just don't let anything happen to her. Mr. Denton, thank you. Here's a photograph so that you can identify her. Do you think I'm doing the right thing? Going after Savage's daughter? Absolutely. Never negotiate with a terrorist. Tiffany could lose her life. Never negotiate. You will only encourage more acts of terror. Besides, you're gonna bring Tiffany back alive. Yes, sir. I'll do what I can to get her back. All right, I've landed. You won't believe this, but I have Kong with me. He looks pretty sick. Savage has promised to get him some medical attention. Meet us at the base entrance to the northeast. JC. Hello. What's wrong? An error. One of the experiments. I have the great death. He flew into San Jose and had no way to get here. I am not a high-order term in the equation anymore. Do not concern yourselves with me. You aren't dead yet, Tong. Savage will take care of you. I'm here for selfish reasons. To have access to the cure. Let's just hope we're able to manufacture it. Savage's daughter failed to get the parts he needs for the UC. She's being held prisoner by Majestic 12. We should get moving. Tony Maris is on the way to help Tong. By all means, go. You don't have time to stand around on account of me. Hop in, JC. Whoever's 
out there. Give yourself up. He's still in the Father sent me. You all right? They caught me at the submarine base trying to steal one of their mini subs. Do you really think there's a containment unit in the ocean lab? All we need is a schematic, as long as the main computer isn't waterlogged. We'll talk about that later. Come on, let's go. I'm not going back to that base. You want to check it out? Great. Here's a map that shows a back way into the sub base. I'll check it out. First, let's get you out of here. Make a break for the helicopter. It's in the junkyard. Got it. Take her back to Vandenberg while I check out the submarine base. I'm gonna make another try to reach the ocean labs you see. Sure, I'll drop you off on the way. said to expect someone on a mission to the ocean lab. Denton's an old code name for my UNATCO days, but it seems to have stuck. I have a map of the facility. Also, you can use my login. A. Pinkerton, password, Antennapedia. You will need it for the computers in the URV bay. Thanks. You one of the scientists Savage lost to Majestic 12? My situation here is temporary. I still report to Gary Savage. How? I've been in contact with Dr. Savage. If you want to take one of the mini subs, you'll have to open the sub bay doors. Use the security terminal, login tech, password Sharkman. Thanks. Be discreet about it. It's important to X51 that I keep my position here.
case you were wondering, Helios intercepted your transmission. We accessed the Ocean Lab computers ourselves, which means our UCs will be operational shortly. Meanwhile, we will be manufacturing a cure to the virus. A cure? A cure? Do you have any idea how easy it will be for me to make a new virus? All I have to do is find a very large prime number and multiply. And all we have to do is crack the code. Mathematically unlikely, as are your chances of leaving the Ocean Lab, by the way. Your next page, your greatest strength was secrecy. But now we know everything, including your present location. Always the optimist. You would need an army to attack me at Area 51, and pretty soon, if the missile is accurate, your X-51 will be a thin, gray smudge where Vandenberg used to be. We picked up a submarine approaching the URV bay. It could be an ambush. Hurry. You ended up working for us anyway. How ironic. Remember that NSF gentleman I had to dispatch back at UNACO headquarters? In case you were bitten by the same bug. There's only one cure, you know. Once you have the disease. If you recall our chat in the break room at UNACO, you know that I have the same augmentation technology as you. Then this will be a good fight. With the exception that I have a newer version of the firmware. You should have surrendered. if the schematics are accurate. But we have another problem. Page said he was launching a missile at Vandenberg. Exactly. His troops occupied a silo to the north of here. Has he made any demands? The launch sequence has started. No demands. They want to wipe us out. I'll have Jock get me there as quick as he can. Good. Hey, thanks again for saving my daughter. I brought you something from the lab. A token of my appreciation. Not necessary. I'm just glad she's all right. Take it. You might want to upgrade your systems. Sooner or later, you'll have to face Bob Page.
Good man, Edward. We're going to Area 51. Alone? Don't you think we should regroup first? I'm going after Bob Page. that they ran this facility. Oh no, I've seen them underground. I've heard rumors, but I didn't really think... More of it's true than you would believe. I'm here to stop them. Can you help me get inside the bunker? You must be crazy. I'm going after their leader, Bob Page. Can you help me or not? Well, yeah, sure. If you want to open the blast door, the security terminal is at the top of the control tower. The login is A51, password XX15YZ. That's more like it. hacked the Sector 2 security grid, the code's 8946, and I wanted to warn you about Tracer Tong. Tong's helping out from Vandenberg. The vaccine worked. Yes, well, he has another motive. He wants you to destroy Area 51. That's the plan. No, JC. Spare the facility. Spare Helios, the power station. They can be made to service. Us? You and me, JC. We'll rule the world in secret. With an invisible hand, the way the Illuminati have always ruled. Don't you think it's time we end the tyranny for everyone? There's such a thing as a compassionate conspiracy. We don't need Paige's commandos, troopers, crude inventions. Trust me, kill Paige. Dowd and I will be here to help with the next step. I'm always pleased to see one of my experiments perform so well. You aren't even afraid, are you? Right when we made you didn't, but don't worry. I know your weaknesses. Do what you think's right, JC. Only listen to your own conscience. That you didn't know your mom and dad tried to protest when we put you in training. They love their little boy, JC. That's why they're sick. <laughs> We can get you into Sector 3, but no further. Page is in a separate area with his own security grid. 
Everett says you want me to destroy Area 51. I intercepted his communication. JC, he is simply using you to bring the Illuminati back to power. Listen to Savage and me. There is a reactor lab with two antimatter reactors. In other words, yes. You want me to blow the facility up. Why? It's just a hole in the ground. Decades ago, the UN made Area 51 the central hub for all electronics communications. The Aquinas Protocol, originally for surveillance, has given Page unlimited abilities to censor and control all forms of media. If we destroy the Aquinas hub, we'll take down the global network. Exactly. They dug their own grave, JC. We're going to eliminate global communications altogether. I don't know. Sounds like overkill. As long as technology has a global reach, someone will have the world in the palm of his hand. If not Bob Page, then Everett, Dowd. Another Stone Age would hardly be an improvement. Not so drastic. A Dark Age, an age of city-states, craftsmen, government on a scale comprehensible to its citizens. Now think about it. Savage has a map of Sector 3 from when he worked down there. I'm transmitting now. Use it to find your way to Page's complex in Sector 4. Then find the coolant control room, which should be at the northwest corner of Sector 4. Cut off the coolant to the reactors, then go to the reactor lab. I will tell you how to trigger an explosion. A corpse, yes. You feel something. I must know what you are feeling. Still there? Don't worry, I took them out. We lost power when the missile hit. The cages, they came unlocked. You have a pretty clean shot at the surface if you leave now. No, no, not until I see troops. How'd you get back here? This area is restricted. I was thinking about firing up the reactors. <laughs> Good one. Even the Seraphic 8X guys say the reaction's too unstable. They only bring it up to run tests. Alien technology? That's what they say, but I think it's a lie. The Greys are just clones. They say from cells they got at Roswell, but how do we know? They could have just engineered monkeys to not have any hair. Can the Greys run the reactors? Ha, huh, they're monkeys. That's the thing. Maybe they have super brains, but they don't know anything about any alien civilization because they grew up in cages. Never been to Sector 4 myself, but they locked the blast doors because they're doing more than cloning down there. I found out one of the codes, 1038, but that turned out to be for the Akinas hub here in Sector 3. I don't know. Maybe the Akina system controls access, but I haven't figured out how yet.
of ideologies. We just need to put our institutions back in order. The checks and balances of democratic governments were invented because human beings themselves realize how unfit they were to govern themselves. We needed a system. Yes. An industrial age machine. Human beings may not be perfect, but a computer program with language synthesis is hardly the answer to the world's problems. Without computing machines, they had to arrange themselves in crude structures that formalize decision making. over Aquinas. Now it's everywhere. In Hong Kong, it already has power Majestic 12 never dreamed of. What's going on? The AI wants to merge with my brain or something. Does it really think it can take over the world? It's decided to replace human government. I don't know why. In Hong Kong, it ordered the police to remove all barricades from the roads. Traffic is flowing again. It declared the triads illegal and locked the door to the Luminous Path compound. And people are obeying? Why? Because the AI can change some codes and turn out the lights? I think everyone wants the roads to be open and trade to pick up. They just obeyed. I don't know what to think. They trust the AI. Almost no one complained when Helios cut power to the government buildings. A benevolent dictator. Maybe it's after my brain so it can figure out what people want and how to control them. You have a tough choice, JC. If you defeat Paige, the Illuminati will move in. They'll release Majestic 12's grip on world governments. They'll give people some freedom, but essentially it will be 20th century capitalism, a corporate elite protected by laws and tax codes. Or I listen to Tong and pull the plug on everything. Or hand the world over to Helios. Well, if it's maximum freedom we want, maybe Tong is onto something. But there must be another way besides economic collapse. If we could trust the AI to be fair and just, as it appears to be, if the brain it assimilated was mine, maybe it could be. I don't know. I wish I had an answer for you, but you'll have to decide for yourself who you can trust. Trust me. I'll do the right thing. You sound good. I guess you have the kill switch beat. I'm much better. Yes, I'm going to make it. And you will too. Just do what you think is right. Protecting him. 
himself with a plasma force field. The controls are locked. You will have to eliminate each power source individually. Bring down the four blue fusion reactors in Sector 4, then go to the control room on the upper level. Hey, JC, if you want to do what Everett says, you'll need the deactivation code. I decrypted the first three digits before Paige killed my connection. 724. Sorry, you'll have to guess the last digit or find it on your own. So that you'll know what you're looking for, I'm transmitting a schematic of one of the devices. Good luck. You're too late. Already I'm more than human. Does that mean I don't get the job? Soon I will be pure light. Pure energy. Helios and I... <laughs> While the Illuminati cower in the shadows... You will be the Supreme Enlightened, the Illuminated One. Edward has taught you well. I will be what the Illuminati aspire to be, but cannot create for themselves soon. When my augmented systems like yours are complete and able to be integrated with Helios, I will burn like the brightest star. You're gonna burn, all right. Look at you. You're nothing but a little man. A little man still living inside of body. Lose your body, what are you? Nothing. You vanish. You die. Ignore Paige. He will die when we blow up the facility. Your only objective is to find the controls for the reactor's cooling system. We must make sure that the monster seeing Paige has made it himself. He's not Let's do this. What's happening? Helios! Icarus! <laughs> 